What's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. We got another collection video for today since you guys showed so much love on the last one which was my vintage sneaker collection. So shout out to everybody that left some dope comments on that video. I'm hitting you guys off with my Nike SB collection video today. So let's get it and let's go. This is my stack of Nike SBs. I do have some loose shoes here and there and we'll add that to the collection a little bit later. But this is what we're working with today. If it's your first time watching my videos, I'm gonna give a little more insight on how this collection started. So it started off in 2008 and one of my homies would always wear Nike SBs to school and we had band class together. So every single day I would see what he's wearing on feet like, yo bro, what are those? Those are looking fire. Those are interesting, yada, yada, yada. So essentially he got me into the Nike SBs. That's essentially what started my love for sneakers. So if it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't be here right now. So I've been collecting sneakers since 2008 and a lot of sneakers came, a lot of sneakers went. So whatever I'm about to show you guys, these are my top sneakers. Like these are sneakers that I couldn't let go. I did a major downsize. There was a time where I had a few hundred pairs, just a bunch of pairs. And I was like, man, this is just Ridiculous. There's just way too much going on right now. I need to downsize. So this is what's left of it. And of course, I kept the cream of the crop. So I hope you guys are ready today. If you guys love collection videos, smash the like button and let me know what you like about them in the comment section down below. Let's get it started. Being that all of the sneakers are in a stack right here, I'm just gonna wing it. I'm gonna start bringing out sneakers. I'm gonna talk about a few of them. I'm not gonna talk through all of them because that's just gonna make the video super long. But we're gonna go ahead and just show you guys what I have in this mix right here. I mean, just bringing these out brings back so many memories. One, because this is the first sneaker I ever purchased. Two, because of the deal, man. 30 bucks for a pair of Nike SB Miss Piggies. This colorway was just one of the craziest colorways I have ever seen on a sneaker, and especially back then, man. When I was in eighth grade, I was very scared to rock anything that was crazy. So I was wearing a lot of black, I was wearing a lot of white, but doing something like this was just out of the ordinary for me. So when I bought these, I was a little bit scared. I really didn't know how to put an outfit together, what to wear with it. So for a long time, these were just sitting and I would just admire this shoe and just look at it and just be like, man, this is a really beautiful looking shoe. I just don't know how to wear it. I don't really know how well y'all can see it, but this shoe right here is stained in a very light green hue. And that's because I used to mow lawns to pay for sneakers. So if you guys can see, the midsole is like this really very faint green color as well as the nubuck on the top. Now back then I did my best to clean it up, but this was the shoe I would wear to mow lawns. I literally did everything in this shoe once I got comfortable wearing it. And this shoe, like I said, man, brings back so many freaking memories. Just out of curiosity, what was your first sneaker? I didn't even get the freaking OG box for this shoe, so I went ahead and made my own. You see with the little image right here, Google image. Once I worked on a few more lawns, I went ahead and purchased another pair, and this one is a brand new pair. So you could definitely see the difference in color. Quick comparison, quick comparison, look at that. Brand new versus used. Even the box still says 2009 on this pair. I haven't looked at these shoes in so long, but now that I see them, I feel like I have to wear my other pair a lot more now. Since we're on the Nike SB Dunk Highs, I figured we would go ahead and just continue the Dunk High movement. This is a super dope pair that you don't see too often. These are the Nike SB Cheech and Chongs. And if you guys aren't into Nike SBs and you don't really know much about them, Basically, almost every year, Nike SB does a 420 collaboration. So this one was another 420 release. And the cool thing about this pair is that if you know how to skate, it'll wear down the material that's on the top layer. And once you wear it enough, it reveals the suede that's underneath, which is a green suede, which obviously represents, you know, the 420 vibes. And one of the main reasons I love Nike SB so much is because each shoe is almost like a storybook. I say that a lot. Compared to the other sneakers, I feel like Nike SB really kills it in terms of inspiration, collaborations, etc., etc. I mean, there's companies that still do it, but it's very rare to get certain inspirations and, you know, get everything to tie together the way that they're supposed to be. They were doing it really well for a very long time, especially if you're collecting in the silver box, black box, pink box, blue box era, you know what's good. Getting into some of the Nike SB Dunk Lows, you guys saw these in the last video. I don't think I need to explain too much about them. Of course, we have the Nike SB Tiffany Dunk Lows, one of the best shoes ever made. And once again, shout out to Hess Kicks for selling me this pair. Of course, since I have a brand new pair, I need a pair to rock. This was the first pair of Tiffany's that I was able to purchase. And man, these things 
have seen better days, obviously. Oh my goodness. Look at the difference. The freaking swoosh is starting to peel up a little bit. I wore these to sneaker con in like 2017, I believe. It was so hot that day that the swooshes started to melt. This was one of the more expensive sneakers I bought with my money at the time. I got them for maybe like 350 bucks. It took me a very long time to save up for this sneaker, but it was well worth it. Got the freaking diamond lace going on and these things are still in really good condition. It's just that swoosh, man. That freaking swoosh. We also got another pair of Diamond Dunk Lows here. This is the more recent release, but the funny thing about this is that I ended up selling this pair right here to one of my homies. He ended up rocking the hell out of them, and he actually felt like they were super uncomfortable. So after he went ahead and thrashed these things up, he was like, bro, do you want them? Like, I'm not gonna wear these anymore. They're all yours. And I was like, bro, hell yeah, I'll take them. All I need to do is just give this thing a nice clean. If you guys would like to see a video on me restoring these or just bringing them back to life, let me know in the comment section down below. All right, I'm about to show you one of the best gems that I have in this collection, and it has to be this one right here. Not because of the shoe, but I feel like the price that I got it for, insane. Y'all see it? Shout out to the homies over at Rift. This is back before the SB phase blew up like crazy. Nike SB Supreme Dunk Lows. I think brand new, they might be hitting for like 1500, if I'm not mistaken. So this shoe is going for crazy money. Would I pay that for this shoe? Absolutely not. That's just ridiculous in my opinion, but I know a lot of people are starting to pay like crazy for SBs. You see this box right here, you know it's good. We got some Supreme Dunks from 2003, if I'm not mistaken. We still have the OG receipt. It says May 23rd, 2003, and the retail price for this pair was $168. It's cool to get pairs with the receipts in the box, especially if they're super old. So I really like these. Keeping the fire coming, man. We got another box here. We had to complete the collection. If I remember correctly, these were maybe like 350 or 400 back then, but I think they go for a lot more now. So I'm glad I got them. We got a receipt. Look at this. Straight from Japan, I believe. For the next few shoes, I think I'm just gonna roll through it. I'll show it to y'all real quick, just so I'm not talking too much, but y'all get the gist of it. I think that's going to complete the Supreme Collection that I have with my Nike SBs. I'm missing the white blazers, but I really don't enjoy white sneakers like that. I just don't find them appealing. Back then, SBs were a lot easier to acquire for a good price, which is why I have all of these. Believe me, these shoes are cool, but I wouldn't pay crazy money for it, all right? I'm really realistic when it comes to sneakers, and all of these that I showed you, I probably got for under like five or 600 bucks. A lot of them closer to like the 350 range or 400 range. Don't think I'm balling based on all these sneakers right here. I got them for a really good price. Next up on the list, we have a pair of purple pigeons. I love the neutral colors on this pair. The purple just looks really sick. Oh, we can't forget these. We can't forget these. This pair has to be one of the craziest looking shoes that I have, and I freaking love them so much because of that. Very nice materials on this one, and this is just what I love about Nike SBs. The shoes look crazy. We're gonna pull more Dunk Lows out here. Oh, oh. The Eric Costin Dunk Lows. I love the blue, red, and gold contrast on this shoe. That red on the inside just pops it off too. Now this pair right here isn't a Nike SB, but it is a Dunk Low, so I figured I will go ahead and throw this into this collection. Just because a lot of people are wearing Dunks nowadays, but Dunks have been out for the craziest time, man. And the Dunk model is just a classic, so I'm glad to see the Dunks coming back. These are the Denim Dunk Lows. These released in 2005, if I remember correctly. The sole is just stupid nice on these, super yellow, and I freaking love it, man. So that's essentially going to wrap up all of my Nike SB Dunk Low collection. So just to recap, we started off with the Diamond Dunk Lows, and then we moved on to all of this crazy Supreme Heat down here, and we got into some of the older Nike SB Dunk Lows. Basically all of these are old Nike SB Dunk Lows. Comment what your favorite Dunk Low is in the comment section down below, but let's get into some highs. This is a solid pair right here, the Skunk 
Nike SB Dunk Highs. These ones were also a 420 release. Most of the 420 releases have a stash pocket inside the tongue, so it's definitely a nice hit. And who would have thought that that red stitching or orange looking stitching would make a difference? Especially how it changes throughout the sneaker. I think that is a super dope hit. Definitely one of the best executed dunks in my opinion and one of the top 420 collabs that they've had. Next up on the chopping block, ooh, we got the UNLV. Not too much to say about these. I just ended up getting them for a very good price. I know the dunk lows just dropped recently. I feel like the quality of the highs is just so much better. Look how fat this sock liner is. It's super crazy. It's like putting your foot in between some pillows when you put your foot in there. Ferris Bueller dunk highs with that crazy cheetah print on here. If you guys haven't seen Ferris Bueller's Day Off, make sure you watch it. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like I've been complimenting my shoes a little too much. Have I been saying these shoes are beautiful so much in this video? Hopefully I'm not going crazy with it, but we have a few more shoes to show you guys. And once again, if you guys enjoy these videos, don't forget to hit the like button. When I used to do collection videos, it used to take me the whole day, but I think I'm gonna get through all of this, you know, filming and everything in less than an hour, cause I cut down so much. As you guys can see, what I have left is the cream of the crop, I'm telling y'all. Shout out to the boy Dustin at Riff SF when Riff SF used to be a thing. If you don't know what this shoe is, these are the bloody gums. Inspired by toothpaste, inspired by floss, that's why you have the floss at the bottom. Super dope. This shoe actually inspired my Saucony because back then I was intrigued with this outsole. It's a clear outsole, but they put a picture underneath. So I always thought that was amazing. So when I had the chance to design my own shoe, I was like, man, I'm going to use that same concept. So definitely this shoe means a lot to me because it was also one of the very first shoes that I purchased back in the day. And this shoe inspired me to do the picture on the outsole. So definitely a good one to keep. And I really need to wear this thing more. These things are freaking clean, bro. Tiffany Dunk Highs, no need for explanation. Shout out to David Got Kicks though. Ooh, white Melvins. I almost used these as an inspiration for my Saucony collaboration, but I decided to go a different route. Somebody in the comments, let me know what that means down below. I know it's on Google, but if you know what it means, drop it. Rest in peace to MF Doom. Still have my pair. Another freaking crazy looking shoe. All right, we're almost done here, but we do have a couple more shoes to show you guys. Vanilla Ice Blazers. This colorway and this colorway is very similar. It's just the blazers, man. The blazers with that stitching on the side, the stars. Clean colorway, red's one of my favorite colors. I swear I had at least maybe five of these pairs, but I'm down to one now. And this has to be one of the cleanest pairs I've ever purchased. And the resin or Gucci Dunk Highs, whatever you guys want to call it. These are super cool because they have the denim and it frays as you guys wear it. So we have the Iron Man Dunk Highs. I wish they had more aspects of the Iron Man theme, maybe on the insoles or something, but I really love the double swoosh on this one. I think that's what makes this sneaker. Another banger that we have here is a pair of Heinekens. Price on these is insane now. And if you guys don't know the story, basically Nike pulled these pairs because Heineken threatened to sue them. Some of the pairs were able to hit the market, but a lot of them didn't make it because Nike had to scrap them. We ended up getting this pair shout out to Ivan one of the sneaker stores in the Bay Area was selling this for I think 300 bucks back then and Ivan went ahead and swooped them for me since he was in the area so we went ahead paid for them and Ivan just picked them up so huge shout out to Ivan for spotting these for me picking them up and just looking out for the kid because this one is super hard to come by and they're still in pretty good condition and for the last shoe I think this is my only mid in this entire collection these are the dog walkers i freaking love this pair right here again with the funky colors crazy materials we have some poodle action we got some labrador action we got some uh what could that one be any dog that looks like that action and this shoe is just insane another 420 collaboration this part reminds me of my corgi so much and of course we have a stash pocket now the cool part about this shoe besides the colorway besides the material is the concept so they have the dog bag in here it has an extra set of laces and i do have the key charm somewhere super dope touch that's about it guys this is going to wrap up my entire nike sb collection once again let me know what your favorite pair was in the comment section down below like i mentioned before i used to have a bunch of pairs but i cut down a bunch what i learned over the years of sneaker collecting is it doesn't matter how many pairs you have as long as you have the pairs that you know you're going to enjoy 
you know you rock with them, you know you're gonna love them. That's all that matters. So here are the pairs that I have left that matter to me. And I just wanted to thank you guys for watching till the end of this video. I wish I did more sneaker collection videos so I could look back at what I got rid of or what I still have, but this is going to be the updated sneaker collection for the Nike SBs in 2021. So you might see it get a little bit bigger, you might see me cut down a little bit more, who knows? But with all that being said, thank you guys once again for watching this video, and I'll see you guys very soon for the next one. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay. I'm out. Peace. Shoo.